you. I told you not to watch anything with puppets in it. They always freak you out. Holy crap, Angela. How long are you planning on staying? Oh, just a night. A night? All this for a night? Not again. I'm sorry. You need to stop doing this. I'm sorry, but why can't you just break up with guys like a normal person? It's <laughs> not that simple. Not that simple. No, because after every single date, no matter how well it goes or how poorly, they are going to ask me out in a second. Poor baby. <laughs> Look, I can't help it. I'm a real world four, but it's been great. Really. So what happens? Every single date, they'll either text me or call me or show up at my house and they'll be like, oh, Angela, I had such an amazing time. We have to do this again. I hate it. It's so awkward. I mean, if I leave the door open to romance at all, they'll kick it right open. But if I shut it, they'll keep knocking. I don't know what to do. So it's just so much easier to end it quickly. To you? I'd like to think. I mean, rejection is painful. And especially when it's done by a real world four. But surely rejection is going to be better than that. <laughs> is it though? Yes. And you stop trying to spin this like you're being all noble and returning these Spartans back from battle on their shields. But you haven't met the guys I've had to go on dates with. Then you need to stop going out with these weirdos you meet online. Did you ever call my co-worker, Greg? He sounded really excited when I mentioned you. He's smart and funny. Where's the room? I think you guys would really get it off. Seriously? I'm sorry. I both have so much extra work to do on Monday. <laughs> I it's forgot. So you didn't. I swear, if I knew it would cause you extra work, I would have never, you know. <laughs>
Angela, I think a lot about our first day at our only date, and I had an amazing time. When you walked me back to your apartment and asked me out for drinks, I thought this could be the start of something incredible. But the next thing I know, I wake up in a dumpster bleeding from the head never to hear of you again. It was a real wake up for me. My life suddenly had purpose. Cut my hair, joined the academy, and after three years of doing top notch police work, made detective this last week. Uh, congratulations. And I made it a point to make this my first case. What? To find the girl who stole my heart three years ago. So, Angela, will you make me the happiest guy in the precinct and give me that second date I've longed for for years? No. Cool. Totally cool. So then, I guess, Angela McKinnon, you are under arrest for the murders of Jonathan Carter, Michael Dubin, Christopher Bay, Jason Phillips, Paul Anderson, Vincent, excuse me, I still have a few more. <laughs> George Richards, Jedi Springfield, Dude, Peter Green. It's It's Detective Stewart. I have a job to do. I didn't even get to the right to remain silent, part because you keep talking. Detective Stewart. What? Look, if you knew I killed all of those men before, allegedly, why would you want to go on a second date with me? I don't care what you've done with other guys. <laughs> <laughs> really? I mean, look, maybe I'm old fashioned, but I thought being a black girl <coughs> was somewhat of a turn up for you guys. Yeah, right? <laughs> Angela, please. Who hasn't killed someone to get out of an awkward situation? <laughs> <clears throat> I just thought we had something different, you know? We clicked on so many levels. I believe it was fate that swiped one of our fingers right and brought us together that night. Look how wrong I was. See, I'm no different than those 27 other guys. 27? Holy shit! David, I have to be honest with you. Yes. Look, you were incredibly awkward, and that's why I didn't want to go on that second date. Helping. <laughs> Angela, we both know that's not true. I just think I remember having a lovely conversation about my pets. <laughs> right, and nobody cares about your goldfish, David, okay? They're boring. They swim around in circles for a few weeks, and then they die. The only thing more boring than having the goldfish is talking about the goldfish. Well, then why'd you invite me up to your apartment, huh? If I'm so dreadful to be around. Oh, now you want to do the right to remain silent. Spend more time with me. It's not you. Please, don't give me that. <laughs> it's true. It wasn't you. Look, I have a problem saying no. Okay, I just feel awkward and icky. And look, as boring as you were, you seemed like a nice little guy. And I just didn't want to be the one to hurt you. I mean, you were sweet. Like, like ice cream. Okay. Um, and I don't know. I just. I knew you'd be asking me out on the second date, and I just couldn't say no. Bullshit. You just told me no a minute ago. Right. Yeah, and I did. Oh my god, I did! And it didn't feel awkward at all. David, 